that's been one of our favorite pieces ever at Jukebox, and we were lucky that it happened at our very first show. Um, I'm celebrating the 19th anniversary of three important things in my life. This past April, I celebrated the 19th anniversary of the one and only Lions family meeting. Um, I was very nervous when this meeting was called because family meetings are pretend, right? That only happens on TV. Like how every grocery bag just has like baguettes and parsley in it. That's, yeah. um, so my parents called it family meeting and I was 10 and my older sister was 12 my younger sister was 8 and we like look at each other with this, this look of just panic and dread because we all had the same exact idea, which is like, our parents are getting divorced. Because uh, they had been like, uh, kind of stressed out and like, fighting or whatever for the, like a couple of weeks. And we're like, oh my god, fuck, like, this is so weird. I've seen this on TV and in movies. This is how, I guess, it happens. And we're sitting there, and I'm like, because I'm me, I'm just like, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> but instead of being news like that, the, the reason for this family meeting was that my mom was pregnant with my little brother. Which explained why they had been sort of stressed out. My mom was 42 at the time, so they had waited a pretty long time to tell me and my siblings. Because um, you don't want to get like three little girls sort of hyped up about stuff and then like change gears at any point. Um, that's also the anniversary of like all the times I've like seen my mom pee in her pants because she was laughing and pregnant women do that. Or like, I, like for a while I thought my mom just like hated feeding the cats, but it turned out that like the smell of cat food was making her really sick. So like, okay, cool. Like I learned a lot about pregnancy. Um, the second anniversary is obviously uh, at the end of this month, my little brother turns 19. So of course I feel like like the tree in Pocahontas as like the oldest thing in the universe. <laughs> because, uh, it's like not possible to me that he is 19. And he's great and he's smart and original and cool and fun to be around and anyone would be lucky to have him as a sibling. In between these two events, however, something else important happened. And it happened seven times. And that was seeing the movie Jurassic Park. <laughs> much experience you guys have being around um, pregnant women who are 42 during the months of July and August, but they are irritable. They, they are an unhappy bunch. And in response to that, so my mom was like pretty grumpy, and so my dad just took me and my sisters to the movies like a lot, like seven times in the span of like two months, and we saw Jurassic Park over and over and over. Um, one of the things that I was enchanted by, I was always a big dinosaur person, I was always a big science person, I still am both of those things, um, but Jurassic Park made me feel kind of grown up because I knew other people my age were too scared to see it or had found the first viewing of it too traumatizing and would never consider seeing it again and again. I didn't find it too scary so much as I found it too fascinating. I was obsessed with Jurassic Park. Obsessed with it. Um, my parents bought me like Jurassic Park trading cards, which is hilarious because I would never trade one. They were amazing. So like, I just like, like like keep them in a pile and like sort them by like chronological order in the movie. And then like closeness to how how much like the book they were. I read the book that summer, obviously, and I remember at the time being like this is the first book I've ever read with the word urine in it. <laughs> and feeling like, I must be pretty grown up if I can read books with the word urine in it. <laughs> and then now I'm of course like just subverting the entire concept of maturity by like recounting this detail to you. But uh, I just, like, it made me feel grown up. It made me feel like what I was interested in was cool and was, was um, more mature and more exciting and, and of course at the time like that was a really popular movie it's not like I found like some weird cult classic um, and so I thought to celebrate the 19th anniversary of one of my favorite films we could all sing together the the amazing song from Jurassic Park so did everybody get a kazoo? there's kazoos in here okay, let's just practice because it's not just blowing into it you have to really uh, make a humming noise into it ready? 
let's do this. Um, if you're wondering, Margaret, where do you get Kazushi music for Jurassic Park? The answer is, I made it.